Dear all, thank you for attending this training session. Today, I'm going to share with you how to quick create a workflow inside Weaver Ecology 9.0. So first of all, let's going to have the basic understanding how we're going to create a workflow and some of the basic menu about the workflow engine. So there are a few menus under workflow engine for management, which you can create uh, forms for the workflow. Workflow path is how, how the approve flow, how the workflow are there. Report setting is for going to set the report sharing and also the permission management. Customer, customer uh, query, which means enable you going to design customized report. Can be ad hoc or can be customized report. The monitoring management is going to monitor the workflow. So let's start to create a simple uh, leaf application from the beginning. So start create a new application. What we need to do is we can go to the workflow path, go to workflow design. So here, right, you can go to start to add a new one, add. So here we say it's like leaf uh, application. And this is for training. Besides this one, right, here you say you, you have a multi-language. So you, you can go into put at English and you can put Chinese. Of course, right, you, you can enable other language here to enable different people, different users from different country log in with a different language. They will see different user interface. So after you have a pass name, what you can do is you have the uh, type of the type of the pass. So you will choose the workflow. Uh, Weaver training. So after we choose this one, of course, right, you can define who can going to assess this kind of workflow, or which uh, organization are being known of this workflow being known to. After this one, right, we're going to create a form. The form actually is the database, also a, a table to record all the information. So here is leave application Training. Of course, you can set multi language. After this one, save and go details. Normally, right, you see here are some basic information. This is uh, the form basic information and go to field. The field, right, we can go to add a lot of the fields here. For example, this is the main table. What we do is we add like the first one. The first one should be like the because for each form, each workflow should have a running number. So here we could put some kind of the leaf application number. Besides this one, who is the applicant? Which department from? Submission date. So this is some basic information. Of course, right? You need if you need other information, you can just put here. Like for, for example, the applicant email. So after this one, right, normally for a new application, you should have a field ask the user to choose what kind of leaf they need to apply in that leaf category. And then normally for the leaf, you should have a start date, end date. And of course, right, for this one, how many days you are going to take leave, like total leave days. And then what's the reason you take the leave? Uh, reason to take leave. So we just, uh, we, we just uh, use this kind of information to design a simple workflow form. So the first is the leave application number. So what we do is make it like 50 characters applicant. Because the system have a lot of the predefined object to enable you can use directly. For, here, for example, the applicant actually is a user into the system. So we choose a browser button and the human resource. So the system can auto capture the uh, user, user name. And then which department are from? So here is where you can choose the organization department. And submission date, so this is a date object. So we still go to the system. We have a system uh, date. Uh, applicant email, this can be an uh, email address. So we just put that character 100. Uh, leave category should, should be a section box, either a drop down or a radio button or chat box. So later we're going to maintain this one here. So start day, same thing, same with the submission day. End date. 
uh, say turn date and total leave days this should be a, a yeah flow number so i think maybe at most of one dg it should be enough and then the reason to take leave you can make this as a multi-line uh, text box so and of course right you can make it as a html format which means you can have more uh, rich features to add the uh, description so so we just make it as html field so that's all we just finished the database creation so we save and we just close this one and save and go details uh, save here yeah so let's see we have a weaver training have a leave application form of course right you can just uh, uh, close here so make a large space for you going to work on for each workflow it comes with different status the active the inactive the testing Inactive, which means the, pro, uh, the workflow will be active for all the users to use. Inactive will be disabled the workflow. The testing will go into the testing model. So you are going, all your testing data will not store in the production system. So let's go to create a workflow directly. So normally what we do is we're going to have a creator and then approver. The approver can be department head. Of course, right after this one, you want to have a approval from HR department and then we go to the end so this is just a design a simple workflow so you can just uh, drag and drop to connect them together it's very really quick and you can do an auto test the auto test can check your workflow and problems and, and also can simulate simulate the information flow to show you more visualize so there's no problem with stop and save I will see right who are the creator normally when we go to check set the creator right so here is the operator who are the operator so we, we say all the employee can take leave and then we can uh, show it's not all and then we could add and save of course you can change the name that like requester this can be multi-language after the requester we go to the department head And then the operator have a relationship with the requester. You do not need to specify a person, but besides this one, you can go to do some kind of the uh, relationship between the process creator and the approver. So here, either the approver or direct supervisor of the creator. And then we add as a approver here and save. If you want to hear that the uh, step two go to some like the HR department, uh, the HR department. So you can you, you can choose a department, like here is my HR, and then we can specify pers uh, department. So we go to choose uh, uh, here only IT department, maybe just choose IT department. Then go to end. Who are going to get notified after the process go to end? You go to say it's end, and the process creator will be received the notification, of course. So this is how we're going to design a quick workflow. Ah, uh, no need to test. But for here, right? We just design the work workflow. But how the form look like? How the layout? We click this one. Go to the form normal. But the normal normally is like the generated by the system. So what we do is we go to the HTML model and then we can initialize, quick initialize. There are two models, one is simple, one is other ones. Simple is just like the designer form, just like the, it's kind of the raw layout. But for the advanced model, we can predefine some kind of the template to use. Now here, we use this one as an example. I use this one as an example. Like the layout will be looking like this. And then, yeah, when it's continue, we do not need the priority, we do not need the title, and uh, this is like the two field per row. And we want to make the reason to take leave as a total field. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, make this as a total field. Uh, occupy the whole field, whole row. And then we're done, and it's a new template. 
After we have template, we can synchronize to others as well. And then save. Let's go back to the workflow. So you will see the workflow are going to, this is the training account. So after you go to the training account, here is a really training leave application for training. It's come to here, you click this one. So this is what we just designed. You see this one cannot be clicked, right? Because we did not define the uh, authorization to add it or just take the information automatically. Let's go back to do a simple design. Like for the submission day, actually all the things should be auto get. And for the leave category, you can make it as edit. Start day, end day, make it as edit. Total days, edit. This one as edit. And then we save. Let's go back to refresh the workflow. You see, all the things will be can be added. Like for here, uh, leave category gun we do not maintain, but leave days, how many days? Like one day. And here you have a uh, HTML model to uh, put your reasons. There are two things we did not configure. The first one is the leave application number. The second one is the application emails did not auto get out. So what we do is let's go back to the configuration. Go to the advanced model. So advanced setting. The first one is a, a process number. So process number actually is that leave application number can be used here. Generate after the exit one, which means a requester submit will be generated. What is the complaint? The complaint you can put a stream. So here you put like leave, leave, and then maybe snatch, and you put the day and the months as current day as uh, this one. Maybe you do not need days, you can just delete this one. And then you can just uh, move this one out down and put as a four digit running number. And for the stream, you can put as a string stat snatch here. So this is how we're going to design this one. And we can go to save. So this is the first one. The second one is we should auto get the uh, email out, so we have a field linkage. Field linkage is to enable you going to like uh, get the basic information from the system directly, and then we just say email the trigger field. Trigger field normally is like opcand to trigger this one. Because opcand come with the email address. After click this one, we're going to click data source. With actually it's local, do not need to maintain. Refer database. We need to find because this is our HRM. HR human employee. Let's go into chat module human resource search. Yeah, the human resource. This is a main. We click this one. Maybe as HR. And if you have any condition, you can write here. But the condition field is when the key equal to the process field is applicant and then we assign the email uh, email going to the field of the email applicant email so this is how we go to the basic configuration save after we save this one let's go back to save here and then we go to refresh you see the training email automatically come out and uh, for here the drop down right the drop down, let's go back to the form fields. The drop down, leave category, maintenance options. So you can see this is an annual leave, medical leave, hospital leave, no pay leave. others then save let's go to refresh this one so you say this is your drop down quickly come out and uh, start day of course you can choose from here this is a start day end day so this should be like two days so this is how we're going to quick design our workflow for a new application hope you can understand and if you have any questions Please feel free to contact us.